Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Um, today we're gonna try something a little bit new. We're gonna start up a series called Testimony Time. And in this series, we're going to hear a testimony from someone that you might know, someone from the, in this church, but a testimony is a true story of God's role in your life. It doesn't have to be a salvation or saving story. It doesn't have to be really anything. It is their story, it's your story to tell. Many Christians have a lot of different testimony stories. Um, you might, you might want to wrap them all up into one story. It is, it is entirely up to you. So I'm going to start off today by sharing my testimony story. And my testimony story kind of reminds me a lot of the uh, video that I put together for last week's sermon, um, the intentional get, intentionally getting lost. Um, when I was a kid, I moved a, uh, a couple times. Uh, when I, I moved once when I was going into third grade, I moved from Connecticut to Bethlehem, New York. And then again, when I was in middle school, I moved from uh, back from Bethlehem to Connecticut. And when you move, it is a throw. It is a throw into the wilderness. Um, you don't really know anybody. Everybody doesn't really know you. You don't really know where you are. And when you're thrown into the wilderness, it uh, it stinks. It stinks a lot, but you learn and you grow. And I was able to learn and grow and figure out how the best ways that I would be able to present myself to my peers, my uh, new friends. And then I was able to try to figure out what kind of what kind of environment did I want to surround myself with in this new place? So I was a stranger coming into third grade. And to be honest, I don't really remember a lot of that. But I do remember I went to Camp Fowler that same year. Uh, camp Fowler is a summer camp up in the Adirondacks that I might talk about a lot because I have been going there for around 15, 16 years. Um, so I, I started when I was really young. And every week, especially your first week. My first week, I was homesick the entire time. Um, I didn't know anybody, I didn't have any friends, but of course, it, I still went back and I ended up loving it because every single week, it was everybody. It was everybody who was strangers. Everybody were strangers and no one knew each other. Everybody is in that same place of being in the wilderness. There's a great quote in Barbara Brown Taylor's chapter on purposely getting lost. And it's escaping me right now. Actually, I'll find it. It says, in the first five books of the Hebrew Bible, there is a commandment that runs through the Torah like a hymn refrain. There are many variations of it, it given in very many contexts, but it, the basic gist of it is, you shall love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Those most likely to befriend strangers, in other words, are those who have been strangers themselves. The best way to grow empathy for those who are lost is to know what it means to be lost yourself. When I was reading the, the chapter for Barbara Brown Taylor, this quote jumped, jumped at me. I, I, I didn't use it in the video because it wasn't really one that related to the content, but it was one that related to my journey, my relationship with God and how God has impacted my life to be able to connect with other children of God. So later on, when I go to college and I'm finally eligible to become staff at Camp Fowler, I jump at the opportunity because I'm trying to make sure that they still have those people who feel like strangers when they arrive, be able to know that it's everybody and they're all in this together to be able to figure out how to be friends with one another. Um, honestly, before this past week's sermon, I would have said that my relationship with God is mostly through people. Um, but I think it's more so my relationship with God is through people who may feel like they're strangers in a new place. Now, that all being said, I still get terrified of being lost in that way. I, I still get scared of being a stranger when I'm thrown into a room of people that I do not know. But I also know that God has prepared me for that moment. God has been with me through moments when I was in the wilderness and lost and a stranger. And I was able to find people 
that held my hand through the wilderness and then I was able to turn back and hold other people's hand. Sometimes, sometimes, whilst still holding the hand of the person that's trying to carry me. So that's my testimony story. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm excited to hear what other stories that we might hear on this series. Take care everybody, bye.